The Forborough Gold Challenge Cup is next. It's another 0-120. This is a 0-120 handicap chase. Uh, top games without frontier for Padraig Hogan. The go between Martin Lidham, Tower Hamlets, Graham Clutterbuck, Kate Vinci, Derek Hinton, Lady Sharona, Alex Cherry, Olive Oil, Matt Cooper, Fearless Paul Parsons, Cord Jonathan, Alex Cherry, Corbin's Raw, Graham Clutterbuck, and Thunder Rosa for Matt Cooper. Longest race of the day so far, this one. A three mile. We've got a more millions to follow. I think Gray's going to take you through the final three races of the day. They're away and racing. Way towards the first fence. Looking for its head, games without frontier. It's a short run of the first of the 22, which they all got over okay. And Tower Hamlets has now come through to take it up. Short running into the second of the 22, and they're all safely over that with Graham Clutter up top and tail in the field. And there's two different sets of silk for Tower Hamlets with the new ones over the third. That did chop it a bit big, and so did the back marker Corbin's Rock. Games without Frontier just second, the go between moving through into third as they get over the fourth. One or two of them jump in a little ponderously. Safely enough, I've got a four when you jump like that, but you're also going to lose a bit of ground as they get over the water. And all safely over the water. Two more circuits ahead of them, and Tower Hamlet is in the lead. Probably by a little more than a length. The angle's deceptive. Olive Oil is just second, then Fearless, and the go between Lady Sharona's after that one. So we get a look at them from the other side now. You see Tower Hamlets is about a length and a half clear. And there's a clump of about eight of them who are all disputing second. Probably just Thunder Rosa and the grey coats Vinci. He's in second, but it's Tower Hamlets. Into the sixth. Over that one they all go, we've got it over, over it okay. Corbin's Raw continuing to be the back marker called Jonathan also towards the back as they get into number seven. Oh, there's a faller there, Thunder Rose is gone. So Thunder Rose is gone. Oh, Matt Cooper, he's still got olive oil in there as they get to the eighth. And there's another one gone at the back there, it's Corbin's Raw. So another trainer who's got two in it. Gray's still got Tower Hamlets. So at this point, I suppose, Alex Cherry's got to be Having his fingers crossed as they get into the ninth. And they're all safely over the ninth with Tower Hamlets in the lead. Then Fearless and Olive Oil with Go Between in fourth. Then Games Without Frontier, Kate Vinci, and then the only trainer with two left on their feet. Alex Cherry, Lady Sharona, and Cord Jonathan. So Tower Hamlets bowling along nicely in the lead. Pace has been sensible. Fearless is second, now Olive Oil third. And the Grey Case Vinci on the inside of Lady Sharona is making a significant move. And they get into the tenth. All safely over that one. Oh, yeah, Cool Jonathan still the back marker, but travelling well enough as they get into the eleventh. And all safely over that case Vinci's now just been relegated to last, but they've still got a mile and a half to go. And Tower Hamlets will lead over this ditch. Really good jump by Lady Sharona, who's now in a second, and he's coming through to, well, almost look like he was going to come through to challenge for the lead, but the jockey's just taking a bit of a tug as they get over to the 13th, and they're all safely over that. Tower Hamlet's continuing to lead, they're going to come up past the stand, they'll take the water jump, then go off for a, another circuit of the course, and then they'll take that little shoot on the way back, won't jump that water jump next time round, which will be the final time round. And it's Tower Hamlet's who leads by four to five to Lady Sharona in second, the go-between is third, then Kate Vinci's moved back up in the fourth, then Fearless on the inside with Olive Oil. As they make their way towards the next call, Jonathan still just a back marker. And Tower Hamlets has had an easy lead all the way around, really. Nothing's challenged him for it. And I've been quite happy to remain a couple of lengths clear. And go between Lady Sharona sharing second. Oh, the leader ran straight into that one. It's the first mistake he's made, and it's allowed the go between to go into the lead. Tower Hamlets, though, being pushed back up the inside and jumped that one much better, and will probably regain the lead soon. Lady Sharona third, they're starting to 
bunch up now and Tower Amulets has gone back to the front. Tower Amulets from the go between Lady Sharona, Fearless, games it out Frontier getting back into it again. Then Kate Vinci and Olive Oil is in out of it. Cool Jonathan's just dropped off four or five lengths. That one may be beginning to struggle over this ditch. That's the 18th. And the go between landed just in front of Tower Amulets. He's going better on the flat. Lady Sharona is third. Fearless is going to try and go up the inside. Games it out Frontier is making ground. Kate Vinci is really making a forward move now round the outside and has come through to dispute third with Lady Sharona but the go between and Tower Hamlets are matching strides at the moment as they race down towards the next it's just Tower Hamlets on the inside the go between closer to us back in third Lady Sharona then Kate's Vinci is next as they start to turn towards home and inside the final three furlongs they've still got another four fences to get over yet and it's the go between who's now gone into the lead over this fourth last landed in front of the tower Hamlets has gone he's been going well all the way through the race and he's finally fallen the go between's over in the third last in the lead from games and out frontiers in second then comes Lady Sharona and called Jonathan feeling less than Olive Oil running on as well there's still two to get over over that final ditch and the go between's in the lead but he's beginning to tire here comes games and out Frontier and Lady Sharona on the outside Cord Jonathan over the final fence the go-between landed in the lead here comes Games Without Frontier on the outside with the go-between's hanging on and it's the go-between from Games Without Frontier the go-between is going to take it the go-between wins it Games Without Frontier Cord Jonathan Lady Sharona feel it's Olive Oil and finally Kate Vinci and Wood Tower Hamlets have played a part in that finish if it stayed on its feet Probably would have. The go between has taken it though for Martin Dillon. Games it out front is second for Padre Hogan. Called Jonathan for Alex Shelley was third. Also took fourth with Lady Sharona and Fearless for Paul Parsons was fifth.